I always tell my clients, like, if you can get your nutrition on point, then your workouts are second, really. From Twitter comes from Carla Gaithen. She's been posting quite a bit, so thank you for your engagement. She asks, what tools do you recommend we invest in to aid in a live lean life? For example, a food scale, an activity tracker, et cetera. Good question. I always started thinking workout tools like jump rope. I think a foam roller is great if you if your gym doesn't have them. A lot of stuff you can just use at your gym if you go to one. Yeah. But if you're working out from home, I would say some dumbbells are nice to have. Exercise mat for stretching and stuff like that. Things you need at home in your kitchen is a great question. I like the food processor. I think that's huge. I didn't always use one, but like since we've had one, I use it a ton. I Under. think it's great for like making different textures out of healthy foods because that's mm -hmm. one of the ways that healthy food gets boring is if you eat it the same way yeah. every time. So the food processor really helps with yeah. like switching things up. The blender's amazing. We use it every day for smoothies. The food scale is definitely good, yeah. especially if you don't know what, how much food you should be eating. That's what I was gonna say. So a food scale is yeah. a starting point for you. So if you're new to this, yeah. put in your time. This is like school. Do the work. This is your education. Once you use the scale for let's just say a month or yeah. three weeks or two weeks. Even a day is It helpful. was one of the things that changed my life when it comes to nutrition and it set me on the path that I'm at now because I understand the energy that is in food. I understand the macros that are in food. I can look at a sweet potato and be like, boom, that's this many calories, that's many, this many carbs, and I know this is my portion size you should have. I don't count calories on a scale every day now, but I did in the beginning to get me to where I am today. And I highly recommend it. you would have never known that if you no. hadn't done the work and measured the stuff. Like no. it's so important. And I think a lot of times people see us and they just think that we're like naturally fit, but they didn't see all the work that we put in like yeah. nutritionally, especially like all the workouts is beside the point, but like nutritionally, that's huge. That's on point. I, you know, I always tell my clients, like, if you can get your nutrition on point, then your workouts are second, really. I know it doesn't seem like it. Sometimes it seems like getting fit is all about working out and you just need to work out more and harder but and everything, the, but that's not really But the thing is, when you it. do work out, you can eat more food, which yeah. then fuels the muscle, which then burns more fat. And they fat. go together magically. It's just like, they really do. Yeah. Like right? we, don't, we don't recommend just doing one. No. But honestly, I've always said this, if I had to do only do one thing, either eat healthy or work out to get results, yeah. eating healthy would be hands over, hands over heels? <laughs> <laughs> Head over heels, Head over more heels. important in my opinion than working out. Yeah, I agree. But let's not even go there because we love working out. So let's just say a food scale would be what we would recommend if you're beginning. And um, I'll put a link down below because we have a food scale that um, we really like. I don't we think we have it on our counter. It's in our, yeah, one of our drawers drawer. over there, but it's really yeah. slick looking. It works well. We'll put a link it's of that really down nice below. One. Measuring cups are also nice, but food scale definitely works more accurately than a measuring cup. So let's do it. If you're ready to invest in yourself, finally figure it out once and for all, how much you should be eating, what types of foods, exactly which foods and exactly which portions, let me write a custom meal plan for you and work with me with an intensive six week focus plan towards your goals and I know I can help you get there. So if you want more information about coaching, it's in the description box below and I'll see you there. Question of the day, what are your favorite kitchen tools? Share your experiences in the comments section below. Now I want you to go watch this video right over here on the eight must have kitchen tools for healthy eating.